Lulu here. I'm here for a van tour, finally a van tour of my 2016 Ram ProMaster City. Um, I was home in Boston where it was freezing cold and I bought this van and I wanted to get to warm weather. I knew I didn't have time to do a, a true build of what I, what I want at the end. Um, so I just used what I had. I threw it together and actually I would say it's just about permanent worthy. If I wanted it to be permanent, it's that, it's that good. And I want to share it with everybody. So here she is. This is my 2016 Ram ProMaster City. Um, I drove it all the way down from Boston. I'm in, in sunny Florida right now and um, it drives great. Um, I got used to driving without wind. I have no windows in the back. I've never driven a vehicle without windows. These mirrors are a godsend. When you learn how to use them, you have to learn how to use them and you have to figure it out and then you see everything you need to see with those mirrors um, when you when I figured it out finally and so I, I can drive it very confidently now. So um, what I have here, we'll start, we'll start, let's start at the back. Come on, Barb. Barb is my camera gal. And I just have my, I have my uh, little chair and table set up here. And it's beautiful and it's warm and I love it here. So I'm going to show you the back. So the doors open like this. And then I can push a button and they open further like this, which is lovely. And this is it. So, oh, I almost fell. <laughs> um, so this is my bed and I was able to, um, I, I put these legs up here. I wanted to make sure that I could sit on the bed. I sat on the floor at home. I measured from my butt to the top of my head. Then I measured the eight inch mattress. Then I measured the two by four for the bed frame. Then I measured three inches over my head. Did not want to be sitting in here all crunched down with a high bed just to have more storage. Like I'd rather not have the stuff than be like this every time I'm back there. So I wanted to be able to sit up straight. So uh, I measured the space in the van and then with a little calculator and math, I figured out exactly how tall these legs needed to be gave me the maximum um, height of storage that I could put under there, which is really dishes and food. Dishes and food are what I have under the, under the, uh, under the floor. And, and so in this, this flooring right here, I just happened to have, I just happened to have um, a plywood, a piece of plywood. It was four feet by six feet. And I had, I had vinyl stick, stick, peel and stick tiles right on this board, and I used it as a tap dancing floor because when I was 60 years old, I decided to learn tap dancing. So I made a tap dance floor. So I grabbed that tap dance floor <laughs> and wasn't it exactly four feet wide between the wheel wells? Exactly four feet wide. So I put that in, but it was six feet long, so it didn't quite make it down to the end. I, it was about, I was short about this much, and I just, I'll show you later, I just made a board to extend it out, and that wasn't even necessary, um, but I did it anyway. Uh, so that was my floor, boom, right in there. And um, so then what I did was I had built this for my Berkey. So I have a Berkey water filter system. Love it, love it, love it. And right behind here is where I keep my stash of water. I keep three of these. They're called platypus. And they're, what's great about them is they, they hold two liters of water and they're, once they're empty, they're just like flat, just as flat as can be. So I can put them in my backpack and go into a ladies room at a rest stop or um, uh, a truck stop. I can just fill them up in a ladies room. Right now with this campground, there's a water spout. So it says it's not potable water, but by the time it goes through here, it's potable. So I just keep these full. I keep these full at all times. When this starts running a little, um, a little light, I know that it's low. And then I just open this up, pour another one of these in. It goes through the filter system and I can always have filtered water and running water. So that's how it really works well for me. And I just found this spot back here that just worked perfectly to store those. And I made this, I made this box for it to sit on because I wanted to be able to get a cup under it. I wanted to be able to get my, um, 
my coffee mug. I have a tall, tall coffee mug and I wanted to be able to get that under the spout so it needed to be raised. And then I used this little bucket underneath. That's my pee jug. <laughs> so that's where I, that's my pee jug. And I have um, a female urinary device. Works like a charm. Just practice in the shower, practice in the shower. <laughs> the directions say practice in the shower. And I said, nah, I don't have to practice in the shower. I mean, come on. And um, yeah, let me just say, practice in the shower or you'll have a mess on your hands. So um, I keep these little pads right here uh, at each doorway because when I need to kneel in to grab something, um, this, this thing, brutal on the knees, brutal, brutal on the knees. So I keep a knee pad there and a knee pad there. That saves me right there. And then I found this little nook right in here and I keep my tripod and I keep a leg to a table that I'm gonna show you. So right under this bed, right under this bed, I, I use lattice, lattice to make the, um, to make the, uh, the base of the bed. And on top of that is this piece of wood that I covered with peel and stick t t uh, vinyl tiles, flooring tiles, so I could, it could be kind of like a counter. And I just pull it out like this, right from under the bed. It's not attached in any, any way. And I take this leg uh, from my friend Debbie Jean, who I met on, on a Facebook group, Senior Women Doing Van Life. And uh, I was at her camping at her house, and her husband, who's a wonderful, wonderful man, he saw the thing that I had made, which was just a PVC pipe and it wasn't adjustable. This adjusts to any, wherever I am. And he, he, he gave me this. And um, so if you get right under here, I wanna show under here, Bob. So under here, I, I needed a little slot to put the leg. So I put, I knew it couldn't be anything that had any kind of depth because this thing needs to slide under the bed. So it needed to be flat. So I just used shims and I just stick that there and I put the, the leg on the ground, and then there you have it, up here. So, whoops! <laughs> I, think I, I think it needs to be one longer. There we go, okay. You see, it's okay. We learn as we go. There we go. So right here is where I will take out my, my pressure cooker, like this. And I have a little extension cord that goes from here to my blue eddy, which I'll show you in a minute. And I just take all my food out here. I can slice, I can dice, I can cook. I bring my little camp stove out here. I could bring this out a little further. Um, it looks like it has another two feet, but I can bring it out as, as far as I want to, you know? And then it just slides right in. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And, um, and it fits right in one of these little cubby things that I'll show you. So on the door here, I just had these little these little baskets that I had, and I just put them on uh, the command hooks, the command hooks that you just stick, you know. And I just I just hung them right there, and that gave me some storage space for my. Um, this is my my cleaning solution. I use um, rubbing alcohol and water, half rubbing alcohol and water, and then I put a little hook here. And initially that was for my. Um, excuse me, Beth. That was, initially, that was for um, this here. I said, what a great idea. I'll have my, because you've got to sweep constantly. But when you drive and listen to this, the whole time you're driving, I'm like, that was an epic fail. So I said, I think a jacket would be better there. <laughs> and then I just have my brush over here and I'll show you about that storage in a, in a little bit. And, uh, and then, um, so as you can see, this, the floor space here is is of a minimal. It's only about 10 inches wide. So I can't get in there and crawl. My hips are too wide there. So this is very, very deep. And th this is just temporary. And um, I think in a permanent build, I'd have some, I would have something that wasn't so deep here. Um, and utilize more of the space, the empty space back here. But see, I can only bring this so far back because of the wheel wells, you know? So anyway. That about covers it. Oh, and I just want a, a little quick shout out to my niece, Sammy, who's now a grown woman, who's a lovely, lovely woman. But when she was a little, little girl, she made me this for Christmas for her auntie. 
and it's just it, it was some little craft kit she had and she made it and it's just special to me and i said i'm going to hang that right behind my head when i sleep it's a dream catcher and um thank you little sammy De sammy girl so over here is come right over here so here's my other pad so i can get in here <laughs> and not kill myself so i just go like this and then i go like this and so this is this piece of furniture right here holds eight of these eight of these bins this was in my garage it was in my daughter's room she found it on the side of the road she's a chip off the old block right and to teach them how to get things off the side of the road in thrift stores i love thrift stores getting things off the side of the road so she uh, had this in her room for a while. And, um, and then she decided she didn't want it anymore. And she put it down the garage. And she's like, you know, do you want to put this in the trash? Do you want to get rid of it? And I said, oh, I'll just put junk in it. So I had it in my garage with junk in it. So when I was doing this temporary build, I was like, oh, let me put this in there. This would be great. So I put it in and we bolted it down to the floor. And we did not use screws. We used bolts because this is just particle board. And if we were screwing in this and expecting it to stay, that would have not ended well. So we use bolts, but at the same time, the bolts couldn't really come through and take up any space in here because of the bins. So we did the bolts this way and then sawed them off. So it's nice and smooth on the inside. And that's down at the floor, there's L brackets, there's four L brackets. So this is on the floor and it ain't moving. And, um, and then this is my power station. Um, it's a Blue Eddy 2000. It's a beast. I have 400 watts of solar. Um, they're portable uh, solar panels that I'll show you in a bit. And, uh, you know, the, the solar panels work great. If I'm on, if I'm at someone's house, I'll plug it in and charge it off there. Um, I'll plug, you know, with the extension cord. Um, it does not charge off my car because my car is just kind of like, ah, what do you want me to do with this? It's too big, too big. It's just, it, it, it won't work. So, um, I tried it and I burnt out a, I burnt out a cigarette lighter, uh, uh, 12 volt plug there. So what are you going to do? Uh, but what I did was I built this little table to go right over it because I found myself using this as a little tabletop and I was putting stuff down and I was like, this is not going to end well because this is, I'm going to spill something and it's not going to be good. So I made this table. I just measured this. I put four legs on it. I just used L brackets for the legs because I'm not a furniture builder. And, um, and this counter space is my counter space, you know? So, um, you know, it's really important um, to have some counter space. So, uh, my refrigeration system. Okay. So what I do is, all right, so I need a lot of fridge space, a lot of fridge space because I eat a lot of food that takes up a lot of space, big containers of greens. And I eat a lot of veggies and I eat, um, just all this stuff takes up a lot of space. And it's the most important thing that I, that I, uh, accommodate for myself in here. Um, I do this lifestyle because I enjoy it, but I need to make my, um, my food and my meal preparation is uh, number one. So uh, I need a lot of space and I don't have a lot of space. So what I've done is I'll show you on the passengers, on the floor of the passenger seat in the front of the car, I have the tiniest little um, 12 volt fridge and it fits um, ice packs six it fits six of those blue plastic ice packs i set it on freeze i'll show it to you in a minute i set it on freezer always freezing six blocks and then the other six are in here in a cooler so this is my cooler this is the size cooler i need i know it's like it's like half the van but it's just what i need i know it's like right in my face but you know on the permanent build maybe there'll be a better idea that will come to me that it won't be in my face but I feel like it's right here and I can sit right here and, and have my counter space so I'm, I'm not always sitting in front of this with this in my face but it's that important that 
if it's a little claustrophobic, then that's just the way it is. But so when my friends and I were um, kind of coming up with this temporary build, um, I was like, the only problem is, is when I sat the cooler on top of this counter, I had very little room to put the lid up. And then I'm like, if I put the lid up, like, how am I going to see inside it? Right. And he said, how about if you put it on its side? I was like, oh my God. What a great idea. So look at this, okay? So there's my fridge. And there's the six ice packs. There's one back there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is that that insulated bag I made on, on one of my other videos. And I just put it in here for extra insulation. And it holds all my food. And I'm not struggling for space. Um, and I have this little space on top that I keep some containers. And actually, when, when the food starts getting a little bit low, I kind of stick one of these inside. I can just store them inside. Um, and uh, this is like the best thing. I love this. So right now, these are icy, icy, icy cold. The other ones are, um, are freezing. And then I just go like this, boom. Amazing. So far, it's amazing. Um, I've been using it for, when did I leave my house? Thursday, and today is Tuesday, so not quite a week. And you know, uh, Wednesday. oh, today's Wednesday. <laughs> today's Wednesday, and um, uh, I'll, I'll just see as I go along, as I see if it doesn't work. So then um, I had this idea, I said, how about if we put a couple of two by fours on either side of it, throw on a couple of brackets, to hold it so it won't go from side to side. Then we have these rubber bungees, these really hard, hard rubber bungees going through it. And I said, why don't we raise it up so I can have some space right here? So I had this, years ago I had this coffee table and it had two drawers under it. And they really weren't, they weren't on any slides or anything. They were just these two kind of boxes that matched the, the coffee table and they went under the coffee table on a shelf. The top of the coffee table got nasty and I just got rid of it. But I said, I'm going to save these drawers. I'm going to say that was 10 years ago. <laughs> and I've just, those drawers have been in my garage. Well, didn't I pull them out? Whoops. I pulled them out and I was like, look at this. Look at this, will you? Okay. So there is that. This is all of my supplements. That's all the supplements that I take. I know I'm a little, I'm a little neurotic. But these are all my supplements, holds them all. And then this is my junk drawer. Just, just, just a bunch of stuff. Just tape and glasses and sewing kit and batteries and incense and my little hand weights and the scissors and my um, little, um, some other things for projects, my lighter. Yeah, and uh, extra toothbrush and so that just holds all that junk. And then it just goes right in here. And what I have is, I have bungee cords. Now, let me just say, I am not a fan of the bungee. I said, I will never have a bungee cord in my build, ever. And so I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. And I had, I always say, I was telling the girls, I, have to, I had to surrender to the bungee. I surrendered to the bungee. And I'm grateful for the bungee because when I drive, I have a, one that goes from this loop, and I have another loop on this other two by four. It just goes straight across here. Then I have another loop over here for these, and it goes on this. I put them, I didn't want to put this in this um, press, co press wood, uh, co composite wood, whatever it is. It, it just wouldn't have been strong enough. So I put it right in the leg. There's another one at the bottom of the leg for the bottom. And then I just put my three bungees up, call it a day, surrender to the bungee, be grateful for what they do for me. And then when I park, I get them out of my sight. <laughs> I understand their usefulness, but I just don't enjoy them. So um, now I'm going to show you what I keep in these, um, just briefly, what I keep in each of these bins. The things that I need handy to me. Um, the things at the top are kind of big things that, um, that I need to actually take it all the way out to do because these bottom ones because of the small space down here I, I they need to be little things I get because I they don't come out all the way so um, this one right here is everything that I use to get for the morning 
So that's like, you know, little, um, some other supplements and toothbrushing and, you know, uh, argan oils and, and all kinds of things. This is a more like kind of morning supplement thing and evening supplement things. And then my, this is my little, this is my gray water tank. <laughs> this is where I spit my, um, when I brush my teeth and when it gets full, you know, I use, I just use the, um, you know, the, uh, biodegradable products and I can just dump it anywhere, but that's where I, I, I do my spitting. That's my sink. That's my little sink. So that's really handy because I sit right here and I have my counter and then I can have all this out here while I'm getting, doing my morning and evening, um, routine. And then over here is my emergency toilet. Now I really don't want to take up this space with this. I really don't want to because this is a lot of space because I use it almost never. It's for an emergency. But if it's an emergency, I can't have it in my cargo bag up there. I need it handy. So I really needed to take the space for this. So this is just the bucket system. I think everybody knows about the bucket system. I use kitty litter in it and you just put it in the trash, just like, you know, dirty diapers and people that pick up after their dog. It's like, it's all okay to go in the trash. And that's just what I do. And then over here is all my coffee stuff. Can you still see me, Bubs? So here's my coffee maker, my coffee mug, my coffee filters, my coffee grinder, and my coffee beans. And everything in here, this is what I need to make. I just want one cup of coffee a day. I don't drink a ton of coffee. I drink one cup a day. But clearly it's very important to me because I take up the space with it. And then I showed you, this is where the um, the uh, pressure cooker keeps, because I keep that right next to the door for when I pull out my thing, pull out my table. And then um, down here, down here is where I keep um, a few days worth of clothes. So I have clothes in other places and I'll show you, but this is where I keep like maybe three outfits, like complete changes of clothes. And then I keep one of these, um, this is one of those, um, um, you know, like the reusable shopping bags because it's kind of like that nylon-y thing. And I use this for dirty laundry to keep it separate. But as, as the clothes in there get smaller, as I'm using them, they're just in here now. They take up the same space. So I don't need a separate space for dirty laundry. I just separate it with this bag and then I put it right in here. And now tomorrow, when I get ready, I'll grab this t-shirt, those shorts and underwear, and then I'll get dressed. And then the outfit I have on now will be in here. And then it's just always, it's just, and then after a few days, I will replenish. And then, um, and then, oh, shit. Um, and then in here, I have some extra Tupperwares. I have some extra butane. And um, I have like, you know, the water bottles. So this is just like, other stuff like that and then in here is where I keep my waste basket this is my trash and that's very handy because I, I picked this spot because it's handy to the back and it's handy to the front and if I'm sitting here doing my thing in the morning I have access to it and then this right here is all cleaning supplies and kind of food storage things so I it's like my laundry detergent and rags and there's I have rubber gloves when I'm handling like yucky stuff, yucky food, and then some Ziploc bags and some tin foil, and then my brush, the brush I wanted to hang on the back door, but can't do it. And then some extra, extra napkins. So that's that. And yeah, so every, like I said, everything gets bungeed in, the fridge, the junk drawer, the supplements and all the things. And then down here, I have, this is all where I keep like my fruit, my avocados, there's some canned goods back here, there's pears, there's all kinds of food in here. And then over here, I have, this is my salt and pepper and my spices. These are my oils. Here's my, my rice, some tomatoes, some edamame, and I have like some sweet potatoes, big monstrous ones. And that goes way back like that. And then, see we walk up. Then, this right here is all my dishes. 
all my dishes, books, and utensils. There's a little fry pan and a cutting bowl. There you go. What do you think of that? And I'm going to put this table back in. That, and then over here on this wall, um, I, this is where I keep my jammies and my socks to sleep in. This is all the stuff I need to sleep in. And then this is a little, um, a little my little nightstand. I have my little toothpicks and some paper and pens. Here's a little light that I have. And then I just have this these napkins on this little, I just hook it right there. Here's my CO2 detector because I, I do keep butane in here. Is like just some silk flowers that I stuffed in these holes and this is just extra face cloths and um, and some socks and stuff and that just in the in those packing cubes it just keeps everything tidy you know I kind of like that and uh, and then I have these this the, oh, the so I have this light they're just all just like the puck lights one there there's one down the end there so there's three of those and then there's uh, these, I can, these are nice too. I can put them on blinking. I think if I put them on right now, you probably wouldn't see them because they're, they're so, uh, it's light out. But um, yeah, so why don't we go over this side, Barb's? <laughs> so, so far I'm really enjoying um, the, uh, the van. Everything seems to be working out pretty good. And um, over here is where I store my solar panels. Right, at, right behind this table and right before the door. Oh, don't they fit there sweetly. And I, and this, this bungee, I never mind because I never see it. <laughs> but I just take this, I take this bungee off here. This is just hooked on the uh, seat belt, the seat belt thingy. And then the other side is hooked on a, uh, hooked on a uh, little screw that sticks out and then that comes off like that and then these are the two so they're 200 watts each they're, they're folded in fourths so right now look at this Sun I'm gonna make some electricity in a little bit I just open them up I set them up here one two and I put this four kickstands the kickstands are like this so they just they stand up like that so one two three four one two three four facing towards the sun I can move them all day and when I'm at a um, when I'm at a rest stop and I want to generate some electricity and I don't want to obviously put these out on the floor uh, on the ground out in the parking lot I just put them right up here I'll show you Bob so I I lay them right here so the, the four squares the bottom one sits here so it goes like one two three and then this one stands up like that and then I drape the other one down like that and then I plug them into each other and then I come over here and plug it right behind right into here that's how you that and this is plugged into the Blue Eddy and it just it works like a charm it works like a charm and I love that I have just that you know it's about making use of every little space like right here there was a teeny teeny bit of space so I put command strip hooks and I just hooked this basket right in and it just holds my cleaning stuff and my fire extinguisher and then back here I can stuff some things I have like when I go to the beach and I, I plan on beach camping um, next week and uh, I noticed that when I do that when I um, spend the day on a beach sometimes I'm in an area where there's a lot of seaweed and it kind of bugs me. So I bought myself a rake. <laughs> so I can just clean, just, just, just near my van, just I want to clean out all the yucky seaweed and just push it over to the side a little bit so I can put my, my chair and everything and have the, the ocean right next to me. I can't overnight there, but I, but I, uh, I spend the day there and then overnight um, in a parking lot. So yeah, so that's what that's about. And I found a spot for that right in here, perfectly. And then in here, I have 
with this really cool car organized. It's great. It's got pockets. It's got pockets. And this is where I, I keep a stack of all these uh, packing cubes full of clothes. So that's where they stay. But I don't want to have to come to this every day and, and get my clothes. That's why I keep three to four outfits in that little cubby. And then I have access to it there. And then I keep my, my camp stove here. That's right behind here. And then I have the, uh, the, wind, the windscreen for it. To put that around when it's windy. And then I have my backpack that just is kind of like my purse. You know, so I have my backpack there. And then this is the um, cooler I was telling you about. Now I have a video where I talk about making this insulated cover for it. Uh, I'm going to say that it's, it really works well. It's, I'm seeing that the, uh, it's more efficient. It's working pretty more efficient. So I just slide it right off like this. So I keep it on three to three degrees, and then these are freezing up, and I fit six in here, and then uh, if I put a seventh one in here, it looks like there's a space for it, but then this won't, see this won't click shut, but if I put six and then I tip them like this, like that, then it clicks. See, now it's clicked. So only six, only six. It looks like I, I was trying to get as many as I could, and six is the magic number. And then it then it clicks shut. So um, I just keep making ice, and uh, depending on if I'm sitting in heat, if I'm sitting in heat, it might take longer. I don't even need to make it ice every day because that cooler actually said it keeps ice cold for um, uh, five days. But you know, uh, that usually means two or three. <laughs> so. But if I, I don't even, I don't even have to plug this in all the time, and I don't even have to have it going all the time. But when I, when I know I'm going to need it, I'll throw it on, say for like the 24 hours coming up. And then I have, then I swap them out, and I'm good for another few days. And I don't have to buy ice, and I don't have to drain melted water. It's just works like a charm. Works like a charm. And um, there's one other thing I wanted to show is I have this. Um, just get these out of the way. So I have these, uh, I have this roof cargo bag and it's, uh, what's really great about it is that it's only $50 opposed to the big hard ones, hard shell ones that are like seven and $800. So that's good. Um, this fabric, this fabric is, it's waterproof. Has the a waterproof zipper and it has these flaps that velcro down to keep the water out. It is absolutely waterproof. Absolutely. Um, so this fabric is very pliable right now and the zippers, are, you know, the zippers work really good easily. That's because I'm in the sun. And the sun really softens that fabric. Back home, it was a battle. It was a battle when I was trying to get this thing packed and it was freezing outside because crisp and you can barely even move it you can barely move the zipper so you know there's things i like about it and things that um, are not working but i to be determined but what i have is i have <laughs> so i thought the very first time i used this bag on one of my vans i was in my i was i had the ladder out the step ladder out and i was going up there putting all the stuff up and then I'd go on the other side, get the ladder, put all the stuff up, and then do the zipper. And then I went on my trip, and then I went to go get the stuff, and I was like, I can't reach anything. And I was like, Lulu, you know, if you need a ladder to put the things in, you probably need a ladder to take the stuff out. But I didn't have a ladder, so everything up there, I really had no access to. It was so hard to get to. So I was like, all right, that was, a, that was an epic fail. So then I came home and I was trying to think of ladder solutions with such a tiny space. So I was like, well, I'm not bringing a step ladder. Where would I put it? And so I had this idea about one of those fire escape ladders, those ones that are like rope and rungs. I was like, oh, that will take up almost no space. And I'll just, I'll just hook them up and then I'll just climb up. So I got that and I hooked it up 
And I started to climb and it was so wobbly. I was like, oh no, 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 get off of this now, Lulu. You're gonna be in rehab in two minutes if you don't get off this rung, off those rungs. So that went back. And then I saw a YouTube video with the most amazing, amazing idea. So this right here is my ladder. This is my ladder. This is how I get up to the roof. So what I do is I open this up like this and see this, every car has one of these latches because this is how the doors close. There's one there, there's one here. Yep, and there's, there should be one on every single door. Here's one on this door, depending on what part of the car you want to get up. So I'm going to put this little hook right here and then I'm going to put these things on the back until it's level. And, and then I'm going to step on that. And then what I do is I just hold on and I go like this and I go like this and it brings me, look at how high it brings me. I can reach the other side. I can reach the other side of this bag. <laughs> so when I open up this zipper, so sometimes I'll take my foot right here and put it on the seat just for, to make myself more stable. And then I just open my zipper and then I can reach things over there. I can reach things everywhere. It's the most amazing thing. This thing is my ladder, my little, little ladder. And then it just folds right up like that. I stick it right in here. And I think that might be it. Um, I'll be doing, you know, I'll be doing uh, other videos about my, you know, the things I have and all the little details of the things that I keep. And um, I know a lot of people have been interested in um, how I cook and how I eat healthy on the road. And um, that's, that's gonna be a big part of my channel as well. Um, you know, I'm just like, I just know that when I take care of this, when I take really good care of this, and I feel really good and I feel really bright because I eat really clean. Um, it just makes my life more pleasant and enjoyable. Um, I've just kind of, what I've done is I've kind of separated food from like recreation. I've separated food from uh, socializing. It's just, they're separate things. Like this nourishes my body. Those things nourish, nourish my soul and they don't have to happen simultaneously. So I just take good care of myself. I eat what I eat and I don't make any excuses for it. Some people think what I do is nuts because they're like, you're not living, Lulu, you're not living because you know everybody has to have an ice cream once in a while. I don't need an ice cream once in a while. Uh, it's, not, it's, not the, it's not the thing that gives me, um, you know, it's not the thing that gives me a charge today. It's, it's other things. It's just the beauty of the world, the beauty of my friends and um, this, this community, this lifestyle that I just kind of was intrigued by. Maybe I was maybe about four years ago, so I was 60 then. I'm 64 now. And um, it just intrigued me for some reason. And it just kept drawing me. So I feel like when I'm not doing this and I'm not on the road doing this, I'm home watching YouTube people, YouTube videos of other people doing it. So I'm like, am I going to sit home and watch other people do it? Or I'm just going to do it myself. So you just like, you just do it. And you know, there's a lot of things in here that are not really super duper convenient right now, but I'm focusing on what works, what's working and whatever you focus on grows. Well, no, whatever I focus on grows. And I, if I focus on everything that's not working, I'm going to have an aggravating time. If I focus on everything that is working, which is a lot of good stuff is working, then I'm, I feel joy. So this is for, for a throw together. My friend and my friend helped me. Uh, we threw this together in like two days, like two days we put this together. And um, for a throw together, I am, I'm living, I'm living luxury, you know? And uh, of course my wheels are spinning because you know, I have all kinds of new and improved ideas. Now, one other thing I want to say is I had to make my bed really short because as you can see, I can't get in the van this way. And that way I can just fit my knee in. I mean, I could step up and kind of crawl in like that. So I said, that is the only way I'm going to get in. And 
a full length bed block that too. I was like, well, that, that can't happen. So I just cut my mattress. I cut it with a knife and I made it, uh, I said, I'm going to make it five, six. I'm five, six. I'm going to make my bed five, six. Have I ever slept in a bed that was exactly my height? No, I'm always in a, a bed with lots of space above my head and below my feet. And I said, how bad can it be? So I just made it small and, um, you know, I'm a side sleeper anyway, so it's not like I'm always stretched out. But when I do stretch out, like in the morning, I can feel like my heels right over the end of the mattress. But so what? I mean, it's not like it's pain. It's just like, so what? You know, I mean, I'm just, and I just, I'm, it's like a little cocoon back there. And I love when I close the back door and I just prop my pillows on the back of the door and I just, I just sit up, I, I get out my little iPad and and then I get have my coffee in the morning and it's just my little cocoon and I and I'm just enjoying it I'm really enjoying it so you know stick around for um, lots more videos on you know the shenanigans in this campground boy I'm telling you these senior ladies they're feisty ladies I'll tell you what happened when I pulled up yesterday so I pulled up they're all here waiting for me I got a little lost and um, my GPS was messing with me but then I realized it was operator error, but that's a whole another story. So I pulled in and here I coming down the, the campground and there they're all lined up. And I was like, oh, look at them all lined up waiting for me. And then they all flash me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, these are my people. I had to stop the van. I was laughing so hard. They were all flashing me, all these ladies. And I was just like, you guys are just like the best. So we had a campfire last night laughing and you know I met all these people on a Facebook group go to a Facebook group if you're a senior look for seniors if you want to hang around with seniors if you want to hang around with young people young people like us old people too you know uh, whatever you like you can you can zero in on the community you're looking for and trust me you'll find it you know you just be have to be proactive and find it you know and um, so I'm ready to have more fun we're gonna be here for another few days and it's beautiful it's warm it's warm and we're gonna go for a nice long hike today and I'm gonna have a nice lunch and life is good life is good and uh, thank you for coming thank you for being here and bye for now